In this video we are going to see how we can define our own custom material and their density. So here we have a list of um, custom material, so those are the materials that I have defined inside custom tools and then here I have some material directly retrieved from SolidWorks. So now we are going to see how we can add more material to that uh, list of material here. So then I will click on the custom options. Then I will activate the profile option tab and then from the material here I have the list of materials that I have already defined. Then I will click on add to add a new one. So for example we could have uh, carbon and then here I will just define for example the density here. For example I will just put 200. So the list is now added here and now I'm going to define a new custom property that will basically be the same uh, property as we had here. So I will go to the model properties and then for example from the material I can add a new one. So here I will have material 2. Okay, so this will be a combo box here and I can define it uh, for parts and then I can have for example the get material and then the set density. So this will also apply the density so I can click finish and I can also create for example the same one here for the assembly here as well. So the combo box here and then I will select the get material and then here click on finish then I will click on OK and then when I open the custom properties so if I move to the material I can see here that I have the list of materials that I have defined here with the new carbon 